we've got hyenas eating a wildebeest at the moment. I wonder who killed it. I wonder if it wasn't the musketeers that maybe made a kill last night and were chased off. But hyenas can hunt too, which is quite interesting. So maybe we're in the right area. But they're finishing off. There were lots and lots of hyenas around here. Uh, I just see them popping up every now and then along the, the drainage line. So there must be a den nearby. There's some quite a few sub-adults as well hanging about, but they're just finishing it up. And there's, well, I suppose for a hyena, there's actually plenty of food on there. Just trying to get the good bits. You can going in from the eye. It's also a youngster that's feeding away there and one having a nap because it is too full already. Hmm. So I'm still trying to figure out what on earth has gone on here. And then we've also got an eagle of sorts that's to the right. So I'm actually trying to identify it. It looks like a stepped eagle, but maybe I'm just looking for the... Um, Great spotted. I'm trying to find it on my phone, but now I can't find it on my bird app because I remember Brent said that they look quite similar. But do you think that I'd be able to find it on my phone? No, don't be ridiculous. Let me just have a look quickly. There's a few others. Oh, I think it is a step. It's quite big. Although that very white sort of sear is impressive isn't it and it's just getting all the scraps at the moment so a very pale eye brown eye that's why i'm also thinking so i'm gonna have a look at the gate quickly how far if it extends towards the eye yeah it does yeah i'm gonna go with a with a step eagle here very cool though and it's so close and so relaxed i suppose when you're trying to eat something though you don't let too much get in your way and you'll just sort of move around the hyenas and the hyenas are not bothered by the bird at all as long as it keeps away from the main part of the carcass and it just picks up the little bits they won't chase it out which is quite cool to see but look how easily that hyena just picks up their carcass as if it weighed absolutely nothing now obviously there's no not well not really any more muscle or flesh left on that carcass and so uh, it is going to be light, but I think if I went there, I would struggle to pick up that that wildebeest carcass. It doesn't look like a big one. I think it could have been a sub-adult. Hmm. There's obviously a, a clear, dom there's a bit of dominance going on here from that hyena that's you know, on the right-hand side pulling it now. It doesn't want to let this other hyena's feed. <laughs> So I just just sit off to the side and wait to so you see that? Constantly turning and, and or acting quite aggressive towards it. But it's funny how that youngster is allowed to feed, so although it's also being quite cautious and just keeping out of the way. I wouldn't drag that if I were you. might get into trouble, little one. Isn't this amazing? There's plenty of hyenas around on this side of the reserve. It's, it's actually quite amazing how many there are. But we probably won't stay here too long because we do have a mission this morning. We have a mission to find the musketeers and hope find the morning and spend the morning with them. And I don't really... Oh, hang on. Here comes a big vulture. Look at this. Just soaring in. Who are you? Looks like a big... Looks like a little leopard face. Let's see when it lands down on the ground. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to the party. That's a big bird, hey? Beautiful big leopard face vulture. It's actually nice to see them up against the hyenas. You don't realize how big those birds are until they're down on the ground. And then, then of course, that very creepy walk that they do. There you go. Lucky you found a few scraps. And it's I love seeing hyenas feasting on carcasses because the interaction with other predators, or, well, smaller predators and, and raptors, is, is quite cool to see. Let's see how tolerant they are going to be of this big vulture. And let's see if he's going to chase his eagle away. Also, look how he completely... Well, I don't know if no, it's a male. Look how that vulture completely dwarfs that eagle, too. Let's see, in a sneak up. I always think of the pink panther. Da-dum. 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 Whenever a vulture walks. Ooh. Rebecca, you said that the stepped eagle is new to your bird list. That's very cool. What number is it? That'd be nice to know. Let us know. Hashtag Zavari Live. That's, uh, that's really nice to, of course, see. Um, okay, he's not going to tolerate. Are you going to chase it? I think as long as that eagle keeps out of that e uh, vultures. Oh, oh, it's number 67, Rebecca. Congratulations. Oh, there you go. Vulture, you're having an easy morning today. You're not really having to do anything. You've got a bit of... Test on it, pulled that out, and going to eat it like a piece of spaghetti. It's like a rather large earthworm. And 
There we go. So now you can see how nothing goes to waste when you have raptors and and vultures and hyenas around. Even the jackals will come in probably shortly and also come and look for some scraps. I'm surprised there's